and that, that's the big. Oh, she's here? Yeah, she's here, but we don't. We, well, I don't know. Have I said she see, went out the front door, but I don't know where she's at. Is there a car out there? I have no idea. Oh, oh, we've texted her. I can see her car. Here. All of her stuff is still here. Yeah. Is her pocketbook there? I don't know if she carried that in. And then she, came, she came in and then she did that and then she went back out. I don't know. Unless the spot had something in there. I already I did. They did. medical emergency with one of his bosses or something. Yeah, his boss at the pharmacy had to be hmm. transported. So will we have to reschedule like next week or something? Well, I, don't, I will not be here next week. No. We'll, we'll have to reschedule but we'll have to get the post it and do all yeah, the you gotta give and notice. everything else. Gotcha. I mean, we can give it a few, few minutes. I'm sure she's not far. I would not with her stuff there. Yeah, I, mean. I, would, I would think she's not far. Unless Somebody has kidnapped her. I've had Don't say that. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll tell you later, but I'll fly <laughs> We now have a quorum, so I'm going to call the meeting of September 5th, Carthage Town of, Town of Carthage Council to order. Would you give roll call, Ms. Danielle? Yes, sir. Fikesman Peters? Here. Councilman Gray? Here. Councilwoman Gregg? Here. Councilwoman Canapel? Here. Councilman Petty? Councilman Warren? City Attorney Crepin? Here. Okay. Before we get started tonight, there's uh, something I've asked Scott to do. I asked Scott to say a prayer for a couple of our community members. One was uh, Dr. Duke, who passed away, um, and also Sam Gray's brother, Charlie. They both were members of this community for a long time. Dr. Duke helped the city out quite a bit. So, Scott, if you'll say that, please. Father, we come before you this evening to thank you for your goodness and your grace and the mercy that you've given us. Father, we come uh, especially tonight to, uh, to ask your touch upon uh, Sam and his family, the loss of his brother. And I ask, Father, that you would uh, give him a sense of your presence, your comfort, and the peace that only you can give. Father, we pray tonight for uh, Dr. Duke's family and we thank you, Father, for the contributions that he's made to so many lives, uh, including my own. And Father, I pray that you'd be with his children tonight and the remainder of his family and ask, Lord, uh, that you would comfort them during these times. And Lord, as, uh, as we've come before you tonight to thank you for these uh, two men's lives and contributions that they've made, we thank you, Father, for the gift of life. And may each of us this night, Father, uh, remember that... Uh, We've come together tonight, Father, to do uh, to do work to benefit the citizens of this town. And we ask, Father, that you give wisdom and guidance in all areas, Father. And we pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Okay, the next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from August 1st, 2024. What's to approve? Sorry. Any discussion? All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? Motion carries. Did y'all receive reports on the uh, invoices over ten thousand dollars? There are none other than the sanitation fund, health insurance fund, and the PCR uh, expenses. Next item is citizens' concerns. Mr. McGrath, is he here? Okay. What about Mr. Schwartz? Great. Yeah. 
Be brief. I've been before y'all before. I'm the former architect for Smith County's only other city hall, the one in Gordonville. Joe P. Anderson, also principal architect for Tennessee and city architect for Nashville. I have kind of a unique perspective and would like to offer my suggestions on the above project. Tennessee Code Annotated requires that all public entities, governments, even nonprofits, solicit an RFQ for any kind of design bill work. I'm proposing that this council consider that and propose an on-site design solution that meets the county's future needs. It does three things. It guarantees a maximum price, it's a quicker delivery versus design bid build, and it's the way most large entities and governments, including the state and metro, deliver projects. I'm also proposing that we prefabricate a two-story office building similar to the design for the new city hall and the police department. This allows a timely vacating of the existing building without needs for temporary units, enables renovation and existing of this building for our council and commuting meeting spaces, and it can be developed overall to current state and national standards for sustainability and energy, making it low maintenance. Very important for a government building. Current codes are just the minimums for energy efficiency and sustainability, so I'm asking that we kick it up another notch and do it as a sustainable project. If it was a state project, it would be required. I've previously addressed this council and the planning commissions about the upper ferry site and it's being unsuitable for news reasons. Whereas this news proposal saves time, money, and most important, the environment. These are the most popular expeditious delivery methods for state and metro projects used by office, hotel, hospitals, owner developers, especially where the sites are limited like our own towns. I'm available to cons advise, consult, and share my suggestions with any or all public servants, elected officials, citizens, and interested parties, certainly at no charge. Thank you for your consideration. Thank you. <coughs> Ms. Smith. Thank you. Um, I just want to address one thing that I saw on the agenda tonight. Um, I see there's a, a first vote on an ordinance for yet another rate increase on our water and sewer. No, ma'am. That's so. that's for uh, fire suppression. There's no meters on the fire suppression okay. at this time. We're going to meter those because every year they drain them and we lose that water for nothing. So it's not, not for the citizens, it's just for fire suppression. So at your last council meeting you were talking about a rate increase. Did I misunderstand that then? No, the rate increase is done to, in order for us to qualify for the SRF loans. We had to have a, pl a plan in place that we could keep up with the borrowing of the money to pay for the return the money back. So were the rates increased last meeting? No, ma'am. Okay, explain it. I'm, I'm a little... They weren't increased. There's not a plan for increase over right now. Five years. It's over the next five years. We, we're going to have to increase the rates in order to keep up with the loans to put the new lines in. This has to do with commercial building. Well, no, okay, then let's, fire. Let, let me back up to your last meeting then. So you're saying our rates are not, not going to go up then? Not what this year, it? no. So when will they go up again? I would have to look at the figures to see. We have to keep okay. it. it. Just a reminder, it is an ordinance change which requires a public hearing. We, have, so. we, have, we understand that completely, okay. okay? Well, then let me just ask one quick question. The 33%, if you remember back at the very end of October, October in 2022, our town was lucky enough to get listed on five <coughs> spots with the principal forgiveness loans for the priority of this for TDEC. No other town around here did. We have letters that we got. One, one uh, was five different lumps of money allocated. If we had followed through on it, uh, 426,000 for improvements to the uh, water plant, which included pumps agitators control panel which i now know you're trying to get and hey, what's the what's our match on that that was 70 percent 30 percent our match is 30 percent. yes yes okay. that's why this was beautiful okay. it was a one-time allocation from the federal government to the cities all around the world or excuse me all around the country and it was a one-time thing we had to go for it if we didn't do it 
Now and and what, what, what area? Now you're only getting 20%. Let, let me finish. Well, well, no, I mean, that's not even on the agenda. You're supposed to be speaking to agenda items. That's not on the agenda, well, for that, one. And furthermore, when you tied up the $28 million that you're talking about? No, 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 no. You, yes. You're not allowing me to finish. Well, just, Please I, I allow mean, me to finish. Not, it it's 70, not on the agenda. It was 70%. It's not on the agenda. So you don't want the citizens to know this? Well, you can tell them whatever you want to tell them, but you can go tell them out there, not here. I see. So you're going to shut me up so the citizens can't know this? I, I want to give them fair factual enough, information enough, instead of false enough. information. I wonder if the law would... Wonder if the law... Well, that's just I'm, what you're trying to do. I'm not trying to do anything. It says must speak to an agenda well, the item. citizens should know 33% would not have been necessary if you just followed through mm -hmm. on the allocation of millions of dollars for everything we needed in this town. But now we're facing a 30, and I can, I can speak to the reasons why we were told we should not do it, because they said it only had a year to be done. That was not true or correct. It was four years said that um, we had to do the whole amount. That was not true. There were five pockets of money. You could go up to the maximum amount, but you didn't have to do that. Speaking of depreciation, the comptroller's office was already working with all the little towns and cities around here to try to help them work through some of this stuff. That would have been, we, we passed up on millions of dollars and then turned around and increased our water rates by 33%. Some people in this town just cannot afford that. So I'll, I'm just asking our brilliant folks on our council who can think outside of the box, think of some ways to get around this so we don't have to keep putting this physical burden on, on folks who already are struggling with this. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. I don't, I don't know how to make it any plainer, so. Um, <coughs> next is my report. Anybody else want to speak? <coughs> Yeah, I, was, I was gonna ask is there a reason we're calling names they're just the people that signed up to speak and they you know that you don't have to do that anymore. yes yes they do until the resolution passes that which we're doing tonight after tonight probably yeah well, that's what I said we'll read the resolution then they say we just come in before the meeting sign up and you're good okay that's good why point. I asked if anybody else wanted to speak okay good deal all right um, Mayor DePort, update on the Corps of Engineers. I guess if y'all saw the paper that uh, the project that Mayor Smith started come to fruition um, with her and Steve Key. We signed the contract the other day. I invited y'all to come out. I guess y'all were busy, but uh, it's gonna be about 754,000 when said and done. We've got a meeting tomorrow to talk with people about the possibility of borrowing that money instead of taking it straight out of the water sewer fund so we don't eliminate our water sewer fund money. The whole water project, as of right now, we've saved $120,000 instead of hiring a contractor. Let's see. There's a possibility on the, the truck that we bought during the tornadoes that FEMA is going to re reimburse us some money on that. They've already got the figures. It's not going to be the full amount, but it'd be quite a bit. It'd be a good amount towards that truck. And the street sweeper we bought, there's a grant out there from the EPA that they will actually pay for the entire truck if we qualify because we're a river city and it keeps stuff from going in the river. Any questions on any of that? All right, the committee, re oh, I need to add one item to the account, account. <laughs> the agenda is about uh, bank accounts, need to add the new cashier to the bank accounts. Motion to add that to the agenda. Second. Okay, so do you wanna handle that now or you wanna wait till we need a vote on Yeah, just to say yes. Well, no, I mean, on that one to add it. To you, add. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Uh, All opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. <coughs> I'd also like to add an agenda item. Uh, if I can get a motion to add it, uh, it'll be. Well, I was going to say it's Main Street Lines, but it's okay. Main, okay. Main Street Lines? Yeah, okay. Lights. Oh, lights. Okay. okay. I was wondering when y'all were going to bring that back up. Okay, everybody's talking about it. Might as well do something about it. Me and Scott had a conversation today. I said, I'm waiting on designs. <laughs> yeah, we need to vote to add that to the agenda to get a second. 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 All in favor? Uh, Any opposed? Okay, that's added. So right now we're at committee reports. Anybody got a report? Derek, if you'll give a report. Yeah, just uh, a quick update on the Avenue project. We've got a 
760 foot of six inch water main in the ground. Uh, we have pressure tested it, we have sanitized it, and we pulled samples on it today. So all that comes back clear, we'll be able to start hooking the houses up to the lines and, and getting them on the new line. Uh, we spent approximately $39,000 on this phase one. It's from College Avenue to Dogwood Street. Um, again, 760 foot. Contractor price would have been around 178,000. So we, we've saved, like you said, about 120, 120, $130,000. Uh, while doing this, I, ha I have encountered a problem um, and that is rock in the ground. Uh, sometimes you're able to dig that rock up and sometimes you cannot. Uh, but I want to ask your permission tonight to, to put out for bid, if that's okay, a, a hydraulic hammer, which is an attachment to go on the excavator to be able to jackhammer that rock out of the way so we can continue laying the lines. Uh, I got a quote on one that's about $17,000 to uh, add that attachment to the, to the excavator. So, uh, with y'all's permission, I'd like to put that out for bid. Ready to do that now? You can. I make a motion that we put it out to be in here. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank y'all. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. All right. Rusty, do you have anything? Not unless anybody has questions about anything. I'll just bring them up to date on what's going on wastewater plant. You got a second? Yep, uh, go right ahead. Uh, I stayed in the last month. About the valve at the final digester, about 12 foot deep. Uh, about the time we got it dug, ready to drain the tank, it went to raining for two weeks. But we finally hauled 103 loads out, got it drained, and today we got the new valve put in, got it covered back up. So that's four valves in the last year we've replaced at the plant. Uh, the project that we had in the magazine, where we're trying to get out of the bottleneck so we can place it out of the back of the plant. We are through phase one. We were able to load the truck with uh, what we haul now to the field out of the back of the plant, which bought us some time on the valve. We're still moving slowly with the polymer process because we're waiting on the FEMA surveyor to come. Evan said he should be here next week. Yes. Okay. That was going to be the good news. Yeah, as soon as we can get that done, that frees me up to put the electrical in and we're good to go. But that's going to be a, a big deal because in the wintertime, instead of having to hold it on a big tank, we can waste it in the wintertime. Something they haven't been able to do down there, I know, in the last 30 years. So we're moving in that direction, doing as cheap as we can. I think right now we've got like 15000 tied up in it, and we're doing it in budget, out of our maintenance budget. And like the mayor said, we had uh, Congressman Rose and people down the other Friday on the Riverbank deal. We're getting ready to go forward with that. And um, if you have any questions, if not, we're, we're happy. Thanks. Thanks for giving us what we need. Uh, the excavator, the skid steer, we can't do these jobs with just a backhoe like we used to have. So this has opened up us being able to do things in the plant because we're down there on that bank, don't have a lot of room. And y'all giving us that equipment, it's, called, it's saving a lot of money, that's getting to do work. So, appreciate it. Thank you. Is this Les or Roger over there? No. We don't have anything here at this time. Okay. Scott, you're up. call your attention to uh, the financial <coughs> statement um, in my report. General fund cash for me $866,795. Street egg cash $218,719. Water sewer fund cash $2,467,300. Present debt $1,679,332. Um, ratios are all in good status. My update that uh, we think first of all of November, Slugman Avenue project will begin. Uh, and so that'll be hitting our cash flow for the water and sewer fund. Uh, one of the citizens had uh, come to me and asked about uh, Henry. Research again the one time or transfer of any funds from general fund to water and sewer fund. So you have the email string where I've started pursuing that and you can read that 
It's in the email, correct? Mm -hmm. They have. They all should have it. Yes. So you got it in your email, so you can read it and interpret it for yourself. Um, but the bottom line of it is, it is they call it a one-time, meaning uh, it doesn't happen very often. <coughs> and uh, so, if you do it, it has to go through. Number one, it has to be approved by the council. Two, it has to be approved by the comptroller. It has to be a very has to be for non-operating cost meaning capital assets. Uh, so, knowing that uh, with the present SRF loans and so forth that are in place, uh, which are identical to the SRF loans that have been mentioned previously tonight, um, in terms of sources and so forth, to have funded that, we would have the same financial accountability study that the comptroller did that we had for the ones that we're fixing to use. Okay. And you know the result of that, that we still didn't have the finances to do what we had now, uh, much less that prior or proposal. Um, <clears throat> so in any case, I think the bottom line of it is there was no free money for us to, it's not there. And I just encourage you if you want to know facts or any citizen wants to know facts, Please come to my office and I'll give you all the detail and we'll personally call the comptroller and Vina Jones at, at the SRF TDEC if, if there's any question about that. Uh, so the one-time transfer, if we're going to do it, uh, it might be that option for the bank erosion project. Um, and then also you'll notice in number Five, we're going to talk to uh, Tennessee Municipal Fund. Uh, they have a program where they make loans, and we're just going to get information about uh, what it would take if we were to try to do the 764, which is our portion of the erosion project. Not just trying to get the options together so we can make the best decision that's there. Uh, lead service inventory grant, uh, we have gotten together the first information to submit for uh, that grant and uh, but that'll be over got two years in order for that to be completed. The payroll and human resources implementation, we start, uh, uh, payroll is started, but we go live in a couple of weeks with payroll and then utility billing and property tax will go uh, into, go live in October. So. That's kind of an update on that project. And I'll be glad to answer any and all questions. In the, the areas, I don't do physics or chemistry, <laughs> but uh, on the finances, I'll be glad to answer any questions you might have or clarify any thoughts. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to hit your item first? It doesn't matter. Yeah, we might as well do it. Make it, make it one? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Um, so street lights, I think there was a misunderstanding. Um, stop, stop lights. Uh, the traffic lights is what You're I not talking about the lights on the sidewalk. I am not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we may add that too. Um, but for this part, you do? I don't. Oh, okay. Well, as far as the street lights or traffic lights, um, I've got nothing but negatives of. Where, where's the chief? I want him to listen to what you're saying. <laughs> He's the one that controls the traffic lights. <laughs> well, okay. So anyway, um, that uh, third and main right there, um, where one has to stop, the other one comes in, then eventually it's the other way around. There's nothing but negativity that I've seen from the actual citizens, and I was just going to see if what you guys think about changing that back to allowing the traffic to move smoothly. Same time. My, uh, you want my counsel? Uh, yes, please. I don't, I don't have any great answers for you guys. I, I apologize. The only thing I can tell you is when, when we took the turn lane out, you're going to limit your abilities on what you can do there. If you have opposite traffic flowing at the same time going both directions, and somebody wants to turn, you're going to back up traffic. And you're going you're gonna to be holding traffic up because they have to wait for the other. To stop so you can turn. 
Um, yes, I guess what everybody is, that I've seen that's combated that is if they've got to turn, they'll turn earlier. If they won't turn right there. Well, they'll turn well, second. That's, or, that's, that's what whatever. everybody's saying. So we're, if you change it back, we'll turn earlier so that we're not holding up traffic. That's what I've seen. I'm just, again, I just sit here to try to do yeah. what the people want to do, and that's what I'm hearing. The reason we did what we did was because the turn would come out. Yeah. That, you know. Not we we, we said we wanted to see how it would how it yeah. would do. We've seen how it does. It uh, seems to be kind of a sore spot. I think it's going to be backed up either way. I'm not opposed, but what's the cost I to get that change? Just curious. But it ain't much. You right? have will come over and do it. I, you're probably looking at the five hundred to a thousand or two thousand well, dollars to have them come in. Well, what's, the, what's let's let's change it back and see what what happens. I mean, I make that motion. If it's I mean, if you think it's going to be safe enough, listen, y'all can try whatever you want to do. If it doesn't work, we start seeing some more accidents and stuff. I can report back to you. I don't mind a bit. I make a motion. I'll, we change, I'll double, double check with, Let me say this: with the one stipulation of let me check with Stancil to make sure there's not some safety issue that I'm just unaware of and I'm just not thinking of. If there is, I can come back and report to you what Stancil saying. For some reason, I just can't think of the top of my head. Is that fair? I think that's very fair. We do want to know it's going to be safe, I'm allowable. If you're good with that. So contingent upon safety. How soon can we get that information? and talk to somebody, one of the engineers, just to make sure it's feasible to do yeah, tomorrow. Be a next few days, I'm sure. Okay. Tomorrow, early next week. Sometimes the engineers don't call you back, right? You know, ASAP. So, so I'd, I'd make the motion contingent then upon uh, getting that safety information from Chief. And if, if it's all, uh, if we get a positive back from him, then let's we just go back. forward with it. Let's see how, yeah. So say they want, we'll have to put up some signs. And I'll, I'll e we'll email y'all what the cost is going to be. That way you have them. We'll have to put up signs. It's not, not going to be no ten thousand stuff. Yield right away, all that kind of right. stuff. That's going to be the only concern I, I'm going to have is you're going to have people who turn them if they're not paying enough attention. You're going to have people turning in front of other people, and you're going to have more wrecks. Uh, that that's my only concern is you're going to have people not paying attention, and just a concern. Give me a ticket. Did anybody second that? More worried about safety than the tickets. You know what I mean? Not I was just making sure. Nobody has yet. I just I was making sure. Yes. Okay, oh, okay. I just didn't know. I didn't want to miss it. If somebody <clears throat> said something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just didn't hear. Any, any discussion so. on that, like? Yeah, I don't see no good way to fix it at all. No, there's not. <laughs> it's, we tried it every way. The original was the best. So we can't have it tomorrow. We really want to see. Is it going to stop the, the backup of traffic? I don't know. I'm doubtful, but. Personally, if I'm you don't you don't try, you don't know. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I go ahead and turn it second because yeah, if I know I'm turning it. Just go ahead and turn it. I believe the loop will still be the best for it. Main Street keeps running until somebody pulls up like we got down there on Industrial at 25, but I don't know if it costs a lot of money. I mean, there's a, we have to put some stuff in the ground and it costs a lot more money. Yeah, that'll fix the problem and you don't want to do it. I mean, whatever. That would be the best plan. That's the best plan. Keep Main Street flowing and there's nobody else there. Well, why, don't, why don't we amend the thing saying we'll change it down and then get an estimate on what it's going to cost to put the loop in if that would be something Jesse would be agreeable to. I'm agreeable. Do we need to amend it or can Brett just not check on it? Well, I'm, I missed some That'd of my apologies. Part of the safety check. Yeah, that, what did it cost to put a loop in there? At third and main. Yeah, with trigger, you know. The loops in the trigger stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say you're probably looking at a whole new system for a traffic light, it would be my so guess, so. Well, we're about due anyway. Yes, yes, we're we're about due anyway. It won't be cheap. I'll, I'll be glad to. We're about due anyway. Yes, you're, you're not wrong. All right, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, next item on the agenda is the new public works hire. I'm going to go ahead and make the motion that we hire the selected candidate by the streets department. We can give you the name, but we don't we don't say names out loud because if they have another job, we don't want to be the ones that break the news to them. There were six candidates and they picked one. Second? Yes. Any discussion? We don't, uh, I, I just don't remember getting any information. Maybe I did and I missed it. Is that, is the email to us too? Are those candidates emailed to us to where we can help with that or we just fully take on their recommendation? 
Well, I mean, generally that's what we do is just give you a recommendation. If you don't want to hire, you say, no, we're not hiring, then we bid it back out. So, I mean, it's, it's hard to do in this one because you don't really know if you're... Well, put it this way, we had six applicants and only one showed up for the interview. That makes it kind of easy. <laughs> <laughs> just, that's, just that's, a, that's fine. Just but to narrow it down. It, it mitigates right. any kind of uh, favoritism. And right. That kind that's of why thing. we don't, and plus we don't want to say names in here because what if they're working somewhere else and we just, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. they come in, well, I don't need but to do notice I got mean, fired email, yesterday. Email-wise where we would be prepared to, to say, well, all of these people, we got to see all their applications and so oh, as, that's, not as a problem. Counsel, that's not a problem. You know, but in this case, if one person showed up, yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of easy. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? I'm going to stay because I don't know who it is. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to vote. Fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Yeah, there is. Um, I vote yes. There has to be a, a conflict. There's not a conflict if you don't know who it is because you don't know if there's a conflict. I told you we'd give you the name. I just not going to say stop out. the meeting and go in there and we can all discuss it. I mean, it's, if you want to, we can. It's a valid concern. It's not. No, it's not. Uh, yes, we'll it take is. a five minute recess. Yeah, it, yeah, it let's is. do that because that's pretty rude of you to. Exactly how I feel about it. I'll tell you in there just like I'm telling them out here.
Oh, that's a pen in there. What did you say? Yeah. yeah. Don't forget, um, you're at it. We haven't done. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. The next item on the agenda is a bid approval for the fencing around Walton Cemetery and the uh, park down there, the uh, Veterans Memorial Park. Walton yeah, we, they voted on it. Hmm? Where'd you say Walton? Walton Memorial? Cemetery got crushed in the storm, and then the new fence that's down there is the ballpark because it's all fallen down. Been there, like I said, it's been there 40 years. The, the bid at Walton Cemetery, it should be in your package, 9500 There was and two bid tabulations. The one for the park is 78000 and mm -hmm. add 8000 That was the cheapest. The highest was like 130 and then the next one was 150 something Question two. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Jesse, what way are you voting? I'll abstain. I'll vote yes. Next one is the bid approval for the security cameras at the uh, pickleball courts and the new basketball courts down here. Just so y'all know, in number five, the resolution regarding the PE Partners grant, that is what the grant is we're going to apply for to help pay for those cameras if y'all approve to apply for that grant. So. Are they already approved? Yeah, but I'm saying that's the resolution for it. If anybody has any questions about it, I can speak to it. You can monitor from here. That will be the, that's the point of it. Yes, sir. And then that will give us the option to add on possibly to later on if we ever so choose to. If we want to add cameras extra places, we can then uh, add on to it as well. So. Like the motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? I think that'll save us oh, money. That'll save a lot of them. We already lost one. <clears throat> one net down there somehow. Someone took the net. <laughs> I don't know why. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Same. I'm abstaining. I'll vote yes. <laughs> Next item on the agenda is the resolution regarding the changing of the citizens' concerns. Motion to approve that. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The next one is a reading of the budget amendment for the water sewer fund for the lift stations with the pumps that uh, Rusty had to buy. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. No. The next one is the. Can I ask for opposed. Any opposed? Abstain. Okay. I vote yes. Yeah, you can vote when there's not a not a not a quorum. Thank you. It's not a tie. First reading of ordinance for the amendments to the water sewer rate schedule. This is for the water suppression. This has not nothing to do with people's homes or any rate increases. It's got to do with just fire suppression only. Motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any abstentions? Yeah. Good. All right, that's the last item. Oh, we got one more item. We need to, the one about adding the new cashier to the bank signature cards. Did you vote on that since? Yes. Okay. We got one. Thank you. Okay. Any discussion? 
All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Stay. That's the last item on the agenda. Motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye.